In this video, I want to show you guys how to enable the Metal Performance HUD on iOS 26, iPadOS 26, and tvOS 26 using my newly updated app, Metal HUD Config. So let's get to it. Alrighty, so head over to my GitHub page, which is linked in the description for Metal HUD Config. Go over to Releases and download the latest version. Please note that the Metal HUD Config app requires a Mac. Now go to your downloads folder and open the DMG file. Drag the file into your applications folder. Go into applications folder and open up Metal HUD Config. Now, when you initially open this application, you will be prompted to install Xcode. This is required in order to run this application. The app will close. You will be linked straight to the App Store where you can download Xcode. Xcode is quite a large file, so this can take several minutes to download depending on your internet connection. I know it's annoying that you need Xcode, but there is no way around it as this app requires macOS tools that are exclusive to Xcode. All right, so Xcode has finished installing, so we can close the App Store and we can close the DMG and open up Metal HUD config. When you open it, you will also be prompted to install Apple software, which is basically command line tools. So enter in your password and install software. This can take several minutes as well, depending on your internet connection. All right, so here we go. The application is now open. So first things first, you need to get your iPhone or iPad and you need to plug it in to your computer via a USB connection. Just like that. You may also be prompted to trust this uh, Mac on your device and be sure to press trust. Now go back to the application and click list devices. It will ask you to please connect your device via USB connection and you can do all this uh, wirelessly after pairing in. Obviously we've already connected our iPhone. And bam, there it is. Now from here, if you press show running games, you may get a message that uh, developer mode is not uh, enabled on your device. So simply follow the prompts to enable developer mode on your device. Okay, so in order to enable the Metal Performance HUD for an application, you first have to open the app. For this demonstration, I'm going to use our Resident Evil 3. So all you have to do is open it up, then go back to the Metal HUD config app and press show running games. This process of finding the application can take quite a while uh, the first time, so just be patient. And then find your application. In this case, it's Resin Evil 3, and we select that. Now go back to your iPhone or iPad, swipe up to close the application, and make sure all other apps are closed as well. And then go back to the Metal HUD config and we can simply press launch RE3 with Metal Performance HUD. And it's that simple. The uh, Metal HUD is now enabled for this game. All right, so here we are in game and the Metal HUD is working as expected. One of my favorite features of this app is how easy it is to manage multiple devices. I have connected many iPhone and iPads here, and you can simply select a device to connect to it and press show running games, and up comes whatever game you have currently running in your device. For example, on my M4 iPad Pro, we have Grid Legends. If we go back to the Metal HUD application, there are many different things that we can alter. 
such as the HUD preset, HUD location, and HUD scale. For HUD preset, you have modes such as default, which is the standard metrics, simple, which displays the device name, resolution, and frame rate. FBS only displays just the frame rate counter. Rich shows us extra metrics, such as thermal state, refresh rate, CPU, shaders, and so forth. Full displays all important metrics, and custom allows you to choose whatever metrics you want. You could choose refresh rate, or demo state, or GPU time, or frame interval. If you've manually adjusted Metal HUD metrics on your iPhone or iPad under developer Graphics HUD, the default Metal HUD preset will launch using your custom metrics. Press reset on your device to revert it back to default metrics. So I also want to go over enabling the Metal HUD on Apple TV because it is a little bit more involved at first. Okay, so to enable the Metal HUD on Apple TV, what we need to do is open up Xcode and go to Window, Devices and Simulators, and then find your Apple TV. Make sure that it's obviously on and connected to the same Wi-Fi network and go pair. Now on your Apple TV, you will see some numbers. Enter those numbers within Xcode. So for example, 9513895 and connect. Now we can close Xcode, reopen up the Metal HUD config app, click list devices, find your Apple TV. Now I go back to Apple TV and make sure that your application is open that you want to test. I want to have a look at RecFest, go back to the Metal HUD app and click show running games. And RecFest has appeared. Close the application on your Apple TV. Choose whatever you want with the HUD preset and locations, blah, 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 and launch RecFest with Metal HUD. And uh, it's that simple. Here we are in game in RecFest on my Apple TV 4K third gen, and it's working as expected. And there we have it, guys. How to enable the Metal Performance HUD on iOS 26, iPadOS 26, and tvOS 26. The goal of this application for me has been to make enabling the HUD on mobile and Apple TV more accessible for you, you guys. Instead of it being limited to Apple and tech YouTubers, I want you guys to be able to enable the HUD very easily on your device. And I hope that this application provides that. I also do hope in the future that Apple allow you to enable the HUD on the actual system instead of doing it externally with a Mac, but I don't know if that will ever happen. So yeah, but anyway, thanks for watching.